Hi, I am Dr. Ahmed Saleh from St. Catherine. I am herbalist here and I help people. I feel good energy and I am happy because I help people. To help people, this is nice. What's up everyone, Drew Binsky here from the beautiful Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. Today I have a very special story for you. We came all the way to a place in the center called St. Catherine. It is very not touristy. It was really hard to get in. We had to go through a checkpoint and they held me for an hour and asked me every question. Why are you here? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But we were able to get past it and we have found this amazing farm. So we came here and the guy's name is Dr. Ahmed and he welcomed us in and he's letting us sleep here in his house and everything he sells in his pharmacy here is organic. It's herbal. It's natural. It grows right here from the ground. He's got a, such an inspiring story. He's down to be interviewed. He speaks great English and I'm just so excited for you guys to get to know him. He's an amazing person. Here we go. St. Catherine you have 472 kinds of the herbs. In 19, not grown all the world only in St. Catherine. Here. And you have 42 in danger because safari, camel, goat, donkey, flat. Have you been a, a, a pharmacist your whole life? No, before, before, and I am old, uh, 16, I met one woman from Austria, old woman. And see, I know about all the herbs, but only I know Arabic name. She take me Austria and teach me there in special place and I study the Latin name, the herbs. I left three years in Austria. After I go to Griegland, their work for four years in Griegland, Athens, Rhodos. Dr. Ahmed was so inspired after his travels and studies that he came back to his homeland of St. Catherine and planted all of his own fruits, vegetables, herbs, and spices. Organic, paprika. Mm -hmm. huh? No wash, no thing because organic. Basically, he handcrafted hundreds of organic medicines and opened up a pharmacy right in the comfort of his own home and sells his products to everyone in town. Many people like it very much, very much like and help people and many people come to me. Literally, when I say that he has hundreds of products in here, I'm talking about hundreds. Everything in the room is grow here. As Dr. Ahmed says, the earth can heal you from any possible sickness. This is medicine for immune system. Work very good, people like it very much. Help a lot of people for corona time. Do you have medicine for COVID-19? No, I don't know exactly what is this, but uh, I know for to make uh, immune system stronger because corona, this is like strong influenza. And you have strong uh, immune system, never you catch the cold. You can see the Latin's name here. Here for Borstat, this is for the cough. Here for the circulation, for the circulation of the blood. Ginger, cinnamon, ginseng. Here this for slim, for slim. Here this is for the, to clean the stomach for the snakes. This is the way a pharmacy should look like. None of the crap that we find in big stores in the Western world. For the hormone, many women you have a problem for the hormone, and I have a lot of things for colon and cream for the hair. And this is for diabetes, for sugar. I have many people come here in my pharmacy. Is it mostly tourists or local people? Local people and tourists everywhere from all the world come to me here. But sometimes Dr. Ahmed feels the need to escape because he gets stressed out from seeing so many sick patients. Every day I met only people with a problem, with a problem. No, I like to enjoy my life. Every week I go three days in the mountain. Every month I go five days in the desert with camel and I clean myself. We proceeded to get a grand tour of Dr. Ahmed's backyard, which is one of the most amazing places I've ever seen. So we are now in his garden, which is right behind his pharmacy and his house. Almonds from St. Catherine, different. Okay, please take Peter. Sure. Mm. This is pomegranate, it's an Arabic Roman. Zaituna. Yeah, see, cross. He literally grows everything here. And remember, we are in the middle of the desert. This is my goat here. Sometime I go on the mountain with my goat. How many goats do you have? I have eight goats. 
This is uh, Herzl, this Greya. The location of Dr. Ahmed's home is historically significant in Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. We are here in St. Catherine City in the middle of mountain area in uh, South Sinai. It's mentioned many times in all of their holy books because just a few kilometers away from here is Mount Sinai, the very place where Moses received the Ten Commandments from God. In the Bible, Ittini wa zaytuna wa tura sinina is mean the figs and the olive of Sinai. This is the figs, the white figs. Please take. Mmm, it's sweet. Oh. Mosquitoes nets here. Okay, you see, I cover it for the bird. Whoa. Oh. Here, anab, grapes, organic. Take all, please. I have from the grape 22 different grapes. We are stuck in the corn right now. <laughs> Tomato. Thank you. How many years does it take to grow everything? My garden uh, 15 years ago. 15 years you started yes, everything? Yeah. Cool. And here is the figs. This is the wild figs. I never knew that there were that many different kinds of figs. <laughs> As the day turned to night, Dr. Ahmed offered to cook us a delicious meal straight from the source. So he's picking vegetables for the salad and he's making everything all organic, all natural. We all sat down around the fire and I was beyond excited for the feast. Washing hands, water, flour and salt for bread. For bread. This is so special. Behind me, Dr. Ahmed is making the most amazing dinner. He basically dug a hole, is cooking bread in it, put charcoal over it, and now he's cooking corn and eggplant and all these different kinds of vegetables on top of it. Long time I don't see American people. American people. Sweet people, like the nature, like the, the organic food, and stay with Bedouin, simple people. This is because this Bedouin like the American people. Mm. Yeah. Well said. Here, this is mice, corn. My horse take one. In the morning, he see his. Uh, <laughs> you understand what I say? Yeah. Like Viagra? Exactly. Viagra from the donkey, from the horse. <laughs> donkey is very clever. I give him the night and the morning you see, and you go, he's start to <laughs> We invited over a few very special guests to join us for dinner. This is my son, Ghadib Amur. This is Abdullah. Ahmed, my friend, and work with me. Hajj Salama is my friend, 95 old, and he's like to live in the desert. His son take him a tour north of Sinai. He's don't like, and he's come to live in my garden. <laughs> no, live the time. Bedouin bread. Wow, that's thick. Dip the hot bread in the fresh baba ganoush and you have yourself a damn fine meal. Mm. Piping hot tea is always served before, during, and after meals. Doro, it's you tea. Thank you, my friend. Do you always eat vegetarian? Yeah, all the time I eat like this. Yeah. Why no meat? Meat, this is food for the falcon, for the dog. Makes you angry. This is food for to make you happy. I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing Dr. Ahmed's story as much as I had fun telling it to you. What an inspiring person. I think we can all learn something from him and just pure happiness. I mean, I've never met a guy as happy as him before and, and uh, he just lives a very simple life. The Bedouin culture is amazing. And uh, yeah, this has just been a special story for me to tell. You know, I really try to find these 
awesome stories in the middle of nowhere and, and this is really one of those awesome stories in the middle of nowhere have a great day everyone uh thank you so much for tuning in it means the world to me catch you later if you could say one message to all the people in the world what would you say you have to enjoy your life the life is short in the smiling of people please love the people and you not love the people not terrible the people and you not terrible the people leave the people please life and peace salam in life with a problem short life and high pressure smiling smiling life nice life good the world good sunset sunrise and oxygen free the life free the life good and people good don't put the problem live at politica Kolo Maktoub. Shukran, bye. That was amazing. I think that was the best interview I've ever did in my life. How old are you? Good. Me? Oh. 24. Really? Yeah. You look like 18. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> you live here your whole life? Yeah, I spent my whole life here. It's yeah. my home. You like it? Yeah, very much. I enjoy it. Very quiet. Peaceful life. Peaceful life. And we have everything. Have you been to Cairo? Yeah, many times. But you don't like it? Yeah, it's uh, some places. Some places quiet. But I prefer to be in Sinai here. In the mountains? In the mountain, near of the sea and the beach. And then everything is simple, you know. Simple life, more comfortable. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and ring that little bell so you can get notified on all my upcoming videos as I take you to every single country in the world.